Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Ease 1 and 2 Chronicles. Since last time I've gained up to level 7, it, I just went back into the um, Solomon Shrine and killed some more of those monsters, pretty much just running back and forth in a straight line. And yeah, that did the trick. So we still have more of the shrine to explore, which we'll do later, but there's some other things that I want to get done first. Remember that there was that locked treasure chest over behind the road to tree? Well, let's go check that out. See if uh, we can't figure out what's inside that chest now that we have the uh, treasure chest ch key. That opens up all locked chests, by the way. Not just ones in the um, Solomon Shrine, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. What else do I have to do? Oh, yeah. Um, Iris, that's the... Uh, the girl in Zepic Village, her husband Ludo is missing. Maybe we can find him too. Awesome. So now that we have that, I am just going to get out of here and meet you in Minia. Here I am. And there's just a little bit of housekeeping that I want to do here. It's nothing major, but I do want to get it done. Hey there, Pim. Yeah. Uh, we got that necklace, so let's go ahead and sell that to you. Oh. Um, sure, yeah. And I have plenty of gold since I leveled up to level 7, so let's go ahead and purchase a wing. Basically, it'll warp you back to town and everything, and yeah. So that's always nice to have, and I believe you can even use it in dungeons too, so it works as like a return spell and an exit spell. And just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and buy a mirror. Yeah, it freezes enemies. You can use it multiple times. It's kind of like a wizard's ring in the Dragon Warrior game. Um, it will kind of randomly break. So, yeah, you can use it multiple times, and you can get really lucky by using it over and over and over again, or it can break on your first try. It's really just random. Okay, so since I'm... Get away from me! I don't want to talk to you! Your name is Haystack. Seriously? Uh, let's see. I already have all the uh, best weapons, since I still don't have the Talwar. But we'll get one of those soon enough. Let's see, I want to go ahead and buy some armor. I'll go ahead and buy the reflex armor from you. Oh, hey, awesome. It's a light leather armor with a resin? You would think that a plate mail would be better than that. Oh, well. So, I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and equip that real quick. Let's see. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Raises your uh, defense by 10 more points. Awesome. Always good to have. Now I'm going to get out of here and head over to uh, Port Barbado. Well, here we are. Let's go check on um, Dr. Bluto, see how he's doing. It's been quite some time since we've spoken to him. Oh, hey, and who are you? Escort you back to Zepic Village. Oh, it's Luna, Iris's husband. Yeah, he was that perpetual sleepwalker. Oh. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay. Well, he seems like a nice guy. At least he's back home safe now. He's heading there safe. Oh, really? Huh. Oh. Wow, that's pretty rough. I'm surprised that he um, sleepwalks that far, that he can actually make it out of the village and then not, you know, get killed by monsters or something. Yeah, I hope so too. I'm sure he'll be fine. But let's go and check on some other old friends while we're here. Most notably, Dr. Bluto's son, Slaff the leader of the militia, the guy who gave us the short sword at the beginning of the game. Hey there. Uh, we're learning a lot, actually. Oh, well, yeah. We've been finding tons of monsters, we're looking for the books of ease, all these various villages are in disarray, people are stealing stuff, women are getting locked up in cages. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Oh, um, sure. Where are you taking me? What's going on? 
It'd be kind of cool if he joined our party. Like if we got more party members in this game like you do in uh, E7. That was kind of fun. I wish that had bump combat in E7 though, but no. That's just the earlier E's games. Those aren't my favorites though. I've got a sec. Oh, what's this? Some more treasure! Ooh, a new sword. Hey, awesome! We get the Talwar. Sweet! Oh, okay. Why didn't you give this to me in the first place? Why'd you give me that crappy short so short sword? Uh, yeah, because you're kind of dead. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sure it will. That would be nice, but nah, not gonna happen. Okay, we'll see ya. And thanks for all your help. Man, you're like saving me money and everything. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Whoa, yeah, an extra 10 points of attack power. Very, very nice to have. So with that, I'm gonna meet you back in Zepic Village, so hopefully we can go check on Luda and his wife. Okay, let's see. I believe that her house is down here. Oh, yeah. Hey there. Uh, yeah. Isn't he home yet? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Well, he said he was gonna be fine! He said that he didn't need the militia to escort him! Let alone me, I'm just some random redhead. But yeah, we need to go out there and find him. Where could he possibly be? Well, I'll just tell you. He's in areas that we have yet to explore. So let's see, if you go south from here, you'll be at Minia Village. We don't want to go there. But let's head on over to the left, because we haven't been over to this side of the world, like, ever. Let's see what we have going on over here. In the upper left-hand corner of this area, uh, where is it? Oh, maybe it's the... Wait, hold on. Where the hell is it? Yeah, I'm in the right area. I'm almost positive I'm in the right area. Oh, I wasn't in the upper left corner enough. Yeah. There's yet another Rhoda tree. So we can't really do anything with either of these Rhoda trees, actually, but just keep that in mind for later. Now let's head on down here. This place is kind of mazy. Whoa! I hear, like, sounds of fighting. But I don't know where it's coming from. What's going on down here? Ugh, I wish I could find him. I wish I could see where he is. Bam! Yeah, I'll just destroy all these little pickards. This is the only place where these pickards appear. It's kind of hard to find this guy, but maybe we will? Please? Hopefully? Oh! Whoa! Hey! And we got to him just in time, I guess. Oh, yeah, that was me. Oh, okay. Yeah, we kind of know that. Oh, well, getting beaten to a bloody pulp by that guy over there could have done it. Oh, really? So the storm wall is causing sleepwalking too? Huh. Wow. Yeah, we'll just take you there. That's fine. But thankfully, we just get quick jumped back to the village. We don't actually have to escort them like we did with Fina. So, thank God for little small miracles like that. Oh, yikes. Man, she's kind of morbid, isn't she? Yeah, no kidding. Um, maybe give me gold or a nice ring or a sword? Something. Huh, <laughs> you've business to attend to, I'm sure. Wait, we don't get anything? Seriously? Ugh. Let's go see what their business is. Wow. Their business is what I thought it was going to be. I figured that they had the door locked. You know, 
uh, this uh, cabin would be rocking, but I guess not. Oh, I don't know. Really? Strange voice. The young girl. Huh. Oh. Is it different from Bina? I mean, we've already rescued her. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know, lock your door? Maybe put like a little trip wire between the living room and the bedroom so whenever he gets up and starts wandering around, he'll trip and, you know, wake up, fall on his ass. I mean, put, put a bar on the door? Something. I mean, come on now. Oh, Athena's up. Hey there. Oh, well, good. Glad to hear it. Oh. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, no problem. Do you have a reward for me? Oh, huh. Maybe that man in the black cape. Oh, great. So we don't get any reward. I guess virtue is its own reward. Lovely. Oh well. Let's get out of here. And uh, we only explored the first three levels of the shrine the first time we were in there. So let's continue our exploration of the shrine. I think that we have enough time to actually finish up the temple today. Hopefully. Um, we'll see. It's, it, it's kind of mazy, it's not so bad, and we've already made a trip in there before, so I think that we should be able to cover it. So let's just head on in there, make sure that you have full HP, um, and also being at level 7 would really help for survivability, although it's really not that big of a deal. Um, you could probably make it at level 6, just make sure that you bring a heal potion in at level 6. And having the reflex armor always helps, too. Okay, so let's see. We've already been on this floor as well, so let's just go on through and head off to the uh, next floor where we haven't been to, or I accidentally went to, but I wasn't supposed to go to. So yeah, here we are on the third floor of the shrine. And of course I go into a dead end. But the real reason is for an ivory key, which we'll need for later in this shrine. It's not too much of a big deal, but yeah, you'll definitely want it. Okay, let's just head on down here. Uh, let's see where I want to go to. I believe it's all the way down. Yeah, okay. So here we have a golden statue. Keep that in mind for later. Uh, we'll be going into that statue soon enough, but I want to skip that for right now and head over to this golden statue. Yeah, this is like a teleport maze. Reminds me of Castle Ordeals, actually, in Final Fantasy 1. But over here, we have some more treasure! Awesome! Yeah, this silver shield is really, really nice! Always a good thing to have. Uh, let's see, we're just gonna continue along our way, and then use this statue to work back to the previous room that we were in. Let's actually look at that uh, silver shield. Yeah, it's actually better than that large shield that you can buy at the item shop for um, like 6,000 gold or something crazy like that. So if you don't want to buy that shield, you don't have to. And in fact, I would recommend not buying the shield because now it's completely obsolete and useless. So why bother? Anyway, let's go on over here and oh, okay. So yeah, this has a heal potion, but we already have one, we can only have one, so let's go ahead and get all healed up by using this heal potion, and then grabbing this one. This kind of midpoint heal is another reason why I think that getting through here would be kind of easy at a lower level. So now we're at kind of a dead end, but if you notice this wall, it kind of looks different, almost as if there should be a door there. Well, remember that item that we got from Fina, the Mask of Eyes? Let's go ahead and equip that real quick. Whenever you equip the Mask of Eyes, you can see this door right here, but you can also not see enemies, which is kind of crappy. So don't just keep this equipped. 
yeah, that, there was an enemy there, but, you know, you can't see it because the mask of eyes is there. So just use it for whenever you need to, and then take it off. Uh, you really don't want it on. Then let's go zigzagging our way through here, killing everything in sight in one shot. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, level 7 makes this place so easy. Awesome, grab that marble key, and then let's just head on back to where we were. Again, going through that zigzaggy path to the first golden statue that I didn't really even point out that we kind of ignored. But yeah, it's just right over here. It's the golden statue right above the door that I had to use the Mask of Eyes to uh, get into. And yeah, that's it. Here we are in the uh, boss room. So let's just head on over towards the boss. This boss is incredibly easy! I probably won't even get hurt. So in order to make this boss fight even easier and even quicker, um, I'm going to actually equip the Power Ring. If you're at lower levels, I would recommend having your Heal Potion equipped. So I'll just equip it anyway, just in case. Um, yeah, just in case you really need to. But basically, the strategy for this fight is to run around in circles steering clear of the boss's head, and then just hitting the body. As you hit the body, then um, you're going to be able to deal damage to it. If the head touches you, it hurts you. But yeah, just don't even go for the tail, just go for the body. Boom, done the end. The guy is over and done with in like a second. Very simple, very easy, especially with that power ring. And what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, the first book of ease. Sweet! Yeah. But, uh, can we read this book? And can we find the next book of Ease? Find out next time, and let's play Ease Chronicles. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.